Hey guys, how's it going? My name is Francisco Miranda. I'm going to teach you how to get your CCNA. And if you're watching this, you probably already completed the, my ICND1 course. So we're continuing on to get that CCNA. You got one certification under your belt. Now we're going for the second. But just in case you didn't get through the first one, let me just talk about myself. My name's obviously Francisco Miranda. You already heard it, right? You don't need another explanation. Um, so the story behind my success is that I went from unemployed to IT professional. Now I didn't, I mean, obviously I had a job for me to afford the training that I had, but I was in a very, very tight spot. And I went from installing wireless access points to literally renovating um, a whole the whole IT infrastructure of stores as you can see I did all all of this fancy stuff right here was done by me I actually got to travel around and do this it was so much fun and I hope that you guys once you get your certifications and get your foot in the door you can achieve great things so let's go on to the next slide so I'm going to talk about the journey to my CCNA certification and it wasn't a linear path. So what I mean, it wasn't a straight shoot to my CCNA. Initially, I wanted to get my A plus certification first because I landed a help desk slash uh, traveling technician job and it was not a straight shoot. I didn't go from point A to point B just like that. It was kind of like, hey, I went to vegas and then i was so comfortable i did this i mean and then it's just like i got my a plus and then i got my CSAT, and then i got my you know it's it's not gonna be an easy journey especially while you're working because while you're working you may not have the time to study i was traveling so i wasn't able to study and of course while I was out traveling, I wanted to enjoy my time and catch some sights, as you can see here. Um, I hope that yours is a straight shoot. I didn't have somebody to mentor me. And looking back at it, if I'm able to talk to my past self, I would give myself the following advice that I'm about to give you guys. So I hope that I can give you some tips and pointers and help you guide yourself towards certifications and being able to get a job that is suitable for you. And I just wanted to also point out that everybody's different. Not everybody's going to have the same opportunities or going to have the same resources that I did. But I'm pretty confident that me having very limited resources, I was able to accomplish a lot of things. And I believe that you also can accomplish many things and i've seen so many success stories on linkedin i've seen a guy that was working at 7-eleven as a shift manager to managing the it security for a very large corporation that um may have to do with aviation i will not fully disclose the information but there's a lot of good opportunities for you guys and especially if you're young or about to make a career transition um there's so many opportunities and there's so much fun that you can have um personally i've haven't looked back i once i got into the it industry i've enjoyed it sure i my first couple jobs were tough and i did have a tough time getting my foot in the door but once i got in there once i got situated i was able to do so many things that I thought were not possible and looking back at it I am so happy and proud of my accomplishments all right so this course is geared for visual learners I had a hard time learning traditionally so whenever I went to school it was very hard for me to absorb information just by sitting down and listening to people I had to visualize I had to do a lot of things like jot down um, notes I had to jot down equations and I just had to draw sometimes to keep myself occupied and be able to absorb that information um, I also get distracted very easily that's one of the things I don't know if you noticed so far but I do get distracted and I go off on a tangent sometimes I will try not to but it just happens so 60% of the population are visual learners um, that's a pretty good chunk and I believe I'm 
one of those 60 percent um 90 percent of the information transmitted from your brain is visual and that's um just marketing statistics um people do marketing statistics they get um information they compare stuff so when they put out a paragraph which is a picture you know how many people were able to uh remember the message behind um uh, each so it's just very easy just to pick up from uh, visually so I'm gonna make sure that we take advantage of that in this course um, so another couple tips for you is try highlighting uh, drawing sometimes you will see that I draw around uh, and make little diagrams so definitely make sure that you take advantage of that and draw and take as many notes as you can so you will see that I will also draw and scribble and um, yeah, just make sure that you take advantage of this and ask questions as well. Another key concept is that there's a lot of abstraction. Um, one of the things that I hated about learning about learning about uh, Cisco products and uh, networking basics is the fact that it was very technical, and especially if you're new to this, um, it's very hard. I remember sitting down for my IC and D one courses and I was like oh my gosh there's just so much information and there's no way for me to piece it together this information is useful but my brain hasn't been able to process it so there's going to be a lot of abstraction so the quality of dealing with ideas rather than events topics so um in art I don't know if you ever um have taken an art class and you go and you see that there's a abstract art where they kind of put emphasis on certain things because that's what but it's not really true to what the actual image is so abstract is like probably Picasso they just kind of exaggerate certain features to make a point and that's what I'm gonna do I'm gonna exaggerate I'm gonna make similes I'm gonna make sure that I use as much uh, liter literary devices to make sure that I can put emphasis on things that are important and that way you know it kind of sticks in your head and uh, is able to process and ring and you know fire a couple synapses and it's what I like to call learning the artsy way so now I'm gonna talk about the learning materials um, we're gonna have a lot of resources available and that's one of the things that I pride myself uh, in this course because I want to make sure that you guys are able to learn I failed the test a couple like a couple times um, and it was just heartbreaking because I was so close but I just didn't have enough practice I didn't have enough materials I didn't have like a test and these tests are like ninety dollars to take each time and like these practice tests and I'm I'm sure nobody has like ninety dollars just laying around so um I'm going to create a virtual testing environment. I'm hoping that I get it more sophisticated each time so that it uh, properly trains you and gives you feedback on what you should be learning and what you should be focusing on. Uh, groups. Definitely, um, I created the site to be able to handle group discussions. Not only that, we have the Facebook group and you can also um, have one-on-one -on -one sessions and we're going to have... a uh, review days um, a lot of this stuff is still in the works um, as of what I'm speaking right now but hopefully we have that honed down and have uh, really good group resources another thing that I want to do is do external resources so I'm not scared to send you to another information source because I'm pretty confident that I'm going to help you especially if you're a visual learner um, I'm going to help you ace this test. I'm going to help you get valuable information. And not only am I going to teach you the technical stuff, but I'm also going to help extract those ideas. And once they're abstracted, you will be able to apply them to different scenarios. Scenarios. <laughs> scenarios. Versus in just uh, specific events and specific scenarios that you are taught under these technical, very fine and defined um you know uh terms so visual aids so there's going to be a lot of visual aids obviously this course is geared uh for visual learners so i'm going to make sure that i have diagrams and lots of charts and just anything that is going to be able to help you visualize these abstract concepts that i'm going to teach you and the very 
also the technical concepts that I'm going to teach you. So whenever I was in school, I would jot down my equations and, you know, like the x and y and like the x to the x cubed and x squared. I would highlight them a different color and based on their functions. So that's what we're going to do when it comes to the Cisco CLI. I'm going to make sure that you guys are experts with the CLI. Um, labs. Obviously, you cannot pass a Cisco exam without labs. You could technically, but you're going to have a hard time. And I'm going to make sure that I provide you with the lab material. I'm also going to teach you how to set up a lab environment, whether you have hardware or don't have hardware. Uh, comprehensive material. So like I said, all these materials put together are going to be very comprehensive. There is going to it's going to be a fully immersive experience. And if you already taken my IC and D1, um, this is going to be a step up. We're going to get into more complication, uh, complication, <laughs> more complicated scenarios. And we're going to test ourselves. We're going to push ourselves to that final stretch. And once we're done, we're going to be CCNA pros. Now, I want to talk about the smooth sailing promise. A while back, like last year, <laughs> I decided to start my own company. And here's the story behind our rebranding. The company, we had Vela IT because it was smooth sailing for the people that we wanted to do business with. And now I'm wanting to teach you guys and I want to give you the promise, the smooth sailing promise. And I, I understand failure. I know how it is to be frustrated because you didn't pass your exam or you bought some material and unfortunately it just didn't work for you. That material just wasn't for you. And I'm here to prevent that. So we're going to formulate an attack plan. And that attack plan was based on my initial success. And I hope to tweak it as we go along. And I really value the feedback that is left behind, whether it's negative or positive. I value constructive feedback. And if I can make this course better for somebody and it in turn makes it better for everybody else, I am all about that. So it's definitely a community of learners. I'm learning myself and there's always going to be somebody that's better than you. And if you're better at something than I am, then go ahead and tell me, hey, I believe this is should be done this way. Or like, hey, you could explain this a little bit better. I think this is the explanation you're looking for. Because I am very distracted sometimes and sometimes I make the like I make really bad explanations. I'm gonna try to make the best explanations for you, but if you want to point something out, feel free to point it out. Um, and also make sure you help other people out. So if you see that somebody's struggling with something Go ahead and uh, if you know what's going on, go ahead and help them out if I can't help them out. And I'm pretty sure in turn they're going to be able to help you out in the future. Um, you know, you never know. You guys might be able to get a job at the same place. <laughs> so on-demand resources. Um, I'm going to make sure that you guys have the resources and I'm going to make sure that I can continuously create those resources for you because I know that things update and, you know, things can be better explained, like I said. So practice test and software. I'm going to make sure that I develop these tests and the software that helps you train for the Cisco CCNA and so on and other tests. It doesn't matter if it's a CCNA or whatever else that we're training for. I'm going to make sure that you're prepared. And in case you aren't motivated en enough, I just wanted to tell you that the CCNA is no joke. It's definitely one of the hardest tests that I've taken so far, and I'm pretty sure it's probably going to get worse as we go on to get our CCNP or other C even CCIE, especially the CCIE. It's going to be hard, but one thing that I want to tell you guys is don't give up, whether it's you're looking for a new job or going to get a new certification. Don't give up. If you have a tenacious spirit, you will get what you want. Stay active in the community, whether it's our community or if it's another community outside of this. Make sure that you're active because you never know who you can help and who will be able to help you in turn. Have fun. Like I said, you got to be passionate about this. If you're not passionate about this, you're probably not going to make it far. But hopefully, if you're not passionate about this, you can find another passion somewhere else in technology because it is going to be the future. 
And another thing, well, last, is that you want to challenge yourself. If you understand a subject and you just fly through it and just get done, challenge yourself. Add another extra router. Add another subnet. Just do something that will make it challenging for you because the Cisco CCNA is going to challenge you one way or the other. <laughs> I haven't met anybody that completely was 100% confident on their CCNA unless they memorized the answers, which isn't what we're going to do. We're going to make sure that we know these concepts because whenever you have an interview, I want to make sure that you can walk the walk and talk the talk. And that's it for the course introduction. I just want to say thank you guys for listening through this and bearing with me. And if you need to contact me, my name is Francisco Miranda and our number is 866-483-5248. Dial at any time, we will take messages. And if you don't like to leave messages on a voicemail, you could always email us at hello at velaIT.net. You can visit our site at velaIT.net. Hope you guys have a good one. And remember, always stay learning.